not very far down the street from us, so my fondest memories just walking down Knott's Berry Farm. I actually went to Walter Knott Elementary School. Our half of our school was actually owned by Walter Knott, and they would use it as parking for Knott's Berry Farm. So Knott's not hold a special place in my heart, favorite theme park and whatnot. So eventually I moved over to this, this town called the Yeltsinor. No offense, but that thing is it's just something else. That town's like a home of the world. It's like, it's like a confinement of people that don't really know what's going on outside of their boxes. And back in 97, I was the only Indian kid in town. I moved in, it's like, oh, hey, it's, it's uh, Sama, it's uh, Saddam. It's like, after 9-11, it only got worse. Like, Elsinore was just like, uh, as soon as like, I went to high school, it's many more stupider people. And over time, I kind of realized, like, you know what, this is not what America is. This is just a town that really people don't know what they're doing. And this raised the question of mine. Like, who am I? What is my purpose? It's one of those, those people, they're probably working at McDonald's, flipping burgers, as far as I'm concerned. But now that I think back, thanks to them that they sparked that question in my mind, you know? It's like, it pushed me on, like, a thing to explore myself. When I got to college, it was all about, like, I got into Indian culture. I actually joined the South Asian dance team. I learned the language. I actually spoke the language. I met a bunch of people from South Asian cultures. I had a bunch of friends from all types, from all the world. It was cool. It was like, when I got there, I really didn't know how to talk to people. It was just me and my roommate. My social life, the first night, was me following my roommate around. And after a while, he kind of got mad. He was like, why are you following me around, bitch? Come make your own friends. Get out of here. I started talking to people, and I ran into this one Asian guy named Charles. Charles was, was uh, what's he call it? He's one of those guys that would probably should be studying for his classes, but he was rather pursuing things like prepaid legal. Prepaid legal is a thing where they sell like prepaid insurance. And I met these people, you know, they got up there, I made $10,000 a month, you know, like, it just sounded like a big thing for me. But one thing I'm thankful I went to that, they introduced me to a book called How to Win Friends and Influence People, which is a great classic, I'm sure a lot of you have read it. There's another book called, uh, it was not a book, it was just a line, a quote. He's like, if you want to talk, learn how to talk to people, I talk to five new people every day. I started in 2005 and I still do that to this day. It's like, you know, like I would just go around on campus a lot of times, like I have like 10, 15 minutes between class. I would just go to the bell tower at UCR and just start talking to people and start meeting them. And you know, I met some interesting guys, people, you know, and I met this one guy, this Egyptian guy that likes to walk around like without his shirt off. He just walked without shoes, he would have like shorts on, walk around campus. And I talked to that guy, and then one day he dressed up like Jesus. And I literally had a beard out. I was like, I haven't seen you in a while, man. Like, you meet these interesting types of people. And this guy always had to have some kind of philosophical quotes on him. It was like, I think he was so stoned out of his mind that like he, he had become philosophical. And while I was meeting these people, like one thing I realized was like diversity, diversity is what makes America. And like talking to these people, asking them what their motivations are, how they feel, how they feel different. I think like everybody I talk to, doesn't matter if they're black, white, Indian, Asian, whatever, they all have one thing they're like, I don't feel good enough, or I feel, I feel like I'm too different. I think our culture is all about celebrating differences. I don't think that's something that's emphasized. It's there. I mean, in California, look around. You have Chinese food, uh, Arabic food, Italian food, Indian food, all on block. I feel like people, we just don't see that diversity enough. And then like, when I, after a time, I was just like, you know what, I graduated from college. Life was a little bit hard, you know, like, you know, 2010 was not the best year to graduate, you know, two years out of the financial recession. I'm like, what am I supposed to do for work? What am I supposed to do? You know, I graduated with a religious studies degree. And it was like, I had some computer experience. It didn't really make sense. I was like one of those dudes that like renaissance men could do like five things, but I can't do anything completely like the level of professionalism that they demand now, five years of experience or whatnot. So I just, well, I got a call from my cousin in Australia. He actually immigrated there from India, he actually, so he's like, hey, just come by. I expected a decent house I got there, it was literally a trailer. And he was leasing out a trailer for about a thousand bucks a month. He did it for you guys, and then he, I got there, and I'm like, over there, I wasn't, um, for the first couple of months, I wasn't, I didn't feel really American. It was like, I was the Indian guy. But you really appreciate what we have here in California and Cobra. Oh, I said I got to know the people, it was great. And you know what, in the end, I realized America is diversity. We are diversity. Every one of us can live together. Even in Australia, they have high types of Caucasians. They actually refer to each other as racist terms. Italians are hated by us, British, and they actually hate each other. There's a certain type of um, there's racial lines. There's racial lines between British people and Scottish people and Irish. 
over in here, like what I've noticed, what we have here in California is real diverse. And I think we should be really thankful for that. And that's what I am. I, I see myself as a California person, that's just like California guy, and, and, I, and I represent that diversity. I have multiple values from multiple cultures. I mean, we have Latin food, I love it. I mean, I actually had to find, it, it took me a month to find a Mexican restaurant in Melbourne, in Australia. I had to pay like 25 bucks, but I still ate there because I mixed Mexican food. So that's my story. 